obviously a disappointing result um, to the season, but if you could just open with the general statement on the game. I thought, you know, we, we had a really good second half. I, I think the first half, you know, they, they pretty much did whatever they wanted to do out there. And in the second half, we, we rebounded back. We took the lead. We came back from, what, 10 or 12. But, um, you know, obviously, they, you know, we couldn't go live too much, you know. So, that, you know, if they don't take as many free throws, we're winning this game. So I think that had... Um, it had a lot to do with it. We just, and then we had too many players in foul trouble. So, you know, it was uh, it was an interesting rotation. But you know, as far as the season goes, I think it was phenomenal. You know, it's like um, couldn't ask for a better group of players to to be going to the NCAA's with, and you know, making history at Lemoyne. And you know, it's just been a, a, a phenomenal year for us. Uh, Coach, as you mentioned, great, great second. I mean, you guys got down 12, yeah. double digits, second straight game here. Yeah. And you guys fight back and you even have a lead entering yeah. the final minutes. Yeah. Just talk about this team's uh, resolve, I mean, to, to come back in that situation for a second straight game. Yeah, it's just, you know, that's that's how we are, you know. So, you know, I think, I think doing that, I think we all felt like, okay, we're back here and, you know, we're back in this and let's just make the best that we can each possession. But... You know, I think it was it was tough because we were we were putting them to the line too much. You know, even though we were we, we were getting some stops, we you know we, we put them to the line. And, you know, but yeah, that's what I love about our team. That's what we had all year. We had we had a <coughs> toughness about us throughout throughout the entire year. Um, Michaela and Madison, um, you just kind of want to expand on what Coach just said just about the the toughness, the attitude, the mindset that even though you guys are down double digits in the second half. Her second straight game, you guys came back and even took the lead heading into the final minutes. Yeah, I think all, um, all together um, as a team, I can't really talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just know that we're a tough team, we want it all together, so we just put it all out there. Uh, Michaela, um, for you, you were making some crazy shots today. I know that you practice a lot of them and everything, but uh, did you get a sense with all the foul trouble in, in in the game for your team that you pretty much had to carry them on your back today because it was the rotation, as Coach said, was not, not what you're used to? Um, I don't know. I was just trying to help my team to win. Uh, obviously didn't achieve my goal. Um, yeah, our team was in foul trouble. Yeah. Just the best I could. And as far as this year goes, um, some people here may not know, but in early February you lose one of your starting guards in Cam Tooley to a season-ending injury and uh, struggle a little bit, but then you, you had that week off for the bye, and then you kind of reinvented yourself, came up with a, a not a, necessarily a different identity, but you had to reshape yourself a little bit. Um, if you could talk about that transition from that point on and how it maybe got you here. I think it just again made us a little bit tougher, you know, we had to kind of, you know, figure out another way to win, you know, because obviously Cam's loss, um, in, especially in this game, would have helped us if we had her, you know, no question, but um, but I thought other people had to step up and, you know, we could go inside a little bit more to, to Coco and um, to Jenna. And, um, and then, you know, I think it speaks volumes to some of the girls that just really did step up like Erin Foraker. She came in and really helped us, you know, where she was getting spotty minutes most of the year until that time. So, <coughs> so she's really improved and that's going to really help us for the following years. So. Speaking of the following years, Michaela, you're going to be a senior the next time you take the court. You got a lot of young players on this team and you're going to be looked up to as uh, one of the leaders from here on out. Not that you're not already, but you'll be a senior. Um, what do you take out of this experience that will motivate you and maybe help you kind of shepherd the, the younger players and whoever new is coming into the program to get back here? I mean, a loss always motivates you. Um, just that feeling after seeing another team being able to hold a trophy, I think it will stick with every single one of those girls. Um, they're all competitors. They want to win, and I think it will show them how important it is to show up every game and lock down defense and just stuff like that. Okay. Um, Coach, and, and it's Michaela, um, I mean, an MVP effort in a losing, uh, you know, yeah, on a losing team that doesn't happen too often. Can you just talk about Michaela's performance over the past four days? I, you know, I mean, it was incredible. I mean, she played 40 minutes every game. You know, so I mean, I didn't even realize it until I looked at the statue at 35 points. It's just amazing. You know, she's just an incredible competitor. She hit some really tough shots. You know, they they guarded her well, but she still was able to hit 
shots and threes, and, and then even defensively, I think she's really improved this year. So well, I'm glad she's back, you know, that's, that's the one thing. And, you know, she gives it her all, and she gave it her all all three days. You know, you would think of anybody, she'd be the most tired going into this game, and, you know, she was the one that, you know, stepped up the most. Um, Madison, obviously, senior season, you know, it's, it's tough to, to put into words at this time, but can you just kind of talk about, you know, this season as a whole, your career as a whole, you know, what it's meant to you and, you know, obviously it didn't end the way you wanted to, but a, a really great way to go out. Yeah, I think obviously the loss is disappointing, but every year we made it further and further, and this year we went in with a mindset as a whole, knowing where we wanted to get, and we reminded each other every day of what our goals were before practice, during practice. If things were getting shaky, we made sure everyone got back on track, so we knew we could get this far, if not farther, and I think it's awesome. We made history at home this year in so many ways, so I couldn't be prouder of our team. And then, Coach, just to close, you know, obviously, last time you'll see Madison and a couple other seniors wear the Lemoyne uniform for you. Just do you want to talk about their careers and what they've meant to the program, and then um, just, you know, wrap up the season yeah, uh, as a whole? Um, just, I mean, in terms of both Madison and Corinna, they've just been incredible leaders for us, you know. As far as Mads goes, you know, she came in as a freshman and helped us, you know, in a sense, really try to build and rebuild and turn it around. And like she said, every year she's been here, we've been able to win a few more games, go a little bit further in the playoffs, and, and this has been the best that we've done. She's one of our co-captains, besides Mads, uh, Michaela and Colleen. They just did unbelievable, unbelievable job in terms of leadership and we're here today and you know in this <coughs> term because of that, you know. And Corinne came back her fifth year. I didn't know if she was gonna do that, but she you know, she sacrificed another another year with us and um, she gave us as much as she could. I mean she's improved uh, immensely from her freshman year to now and uh, we're we're really gonna miss them. I mean, you know, they're two key players that gave us their all, all year, and you know, it's gonna be hard to replace them for, for next year. And I think our season was was just memorable. I mean, you know, we never wanted it to end. You know, obviously we didn't we didn't plan for this. We, we definitely thought we could win tonight, and, um, but it definitely, like Michaela says, you know, puts that, puts that, you know, that thought in our minds and I never forget how this feeling is and that we can come back next year. We have a lot of, lot of good players back, which, um, which is encouraging for next year.